it's Jasmine. So today I have this Honey Ham inspired makeup tutorial. <laughs> I thought about the title of this video last night and I thought that is so perfect because Thanksgiving is literally tomorrow uh, because I know I'm uploading this video for Wednesday. So Thanksgiving is tomorrow and so if you needed any ideas for Thanksgiving like what you're going to be using for your makeup hopefully this inspires you. This is a halo eye with a little pop of glitter and a glossy lip. This whole look is just scrumptious. So if you want to see how I got it, then keep on watching. I've already prepped my face with some facial oil and I want to go in with some primer. Today I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. Now I've only used this primer once or twice and I still haven't found if I like it or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it again today. Now it does make my skin feel really, really smooth and hydrated. Um, but I've noticed that it doesn't blur my skin as much as, say, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. While that is settling onto my face, I'm going to make a cocktail of foundations for my face. Now I have the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation in Medium Sand, and I'm going to mix this in with my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in Warm Neutral. Um, the Tarte one is a little bit too dark, and then the Bare Minerals one is just a little too light, so I figured why not mix them both. So I have some already in my cap, and I'm just going to go ahead and squirt two pumps of the Bare Minerals foundation in, and I'm going to take a concealer brush to mix these two foundations. I've always had trouble with finding a foundation light enough to tone down this Tarte foundation because in stores it looks a lot lighter because of the bright lights, and then when I got it home and started to use it, I was like, oh no, and you know how Ulta is about their return, so. I'm going to blend this into my skin with my Shop Miss A Wonder Blender. Now a lot of you guys have asked me since my Shop Miss A Wonder Blender review, how has mine held up? And it's actually just the same. There's no color that has really diminished from the blender. It's still just as bouncy and if you guys haven't noticed in a lot of my makeup tutorials, I don't use my beauty blender anymore. It's because it's gone now. I don't like it. I just feel like this is so much better. And by the way, this one's the Paw Paw Charity one, which is two times softer than the actual Wonder Blender that's on their website. My skin's looking really, really good. So I'm going to take this new concealer. This is by Urban Decay. This is their Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I have the color Light Warm. The concealer shade range for this particular product is not that great. Like, I ordered a light medium warm. Tell me why that was darker than my skin tone. Like, I consider myself to be a medium skin tone, and then to have a light medium that's darker than me, and to be labeled warm, but it was actually neutral, pissed me off. I said, not today, Felicia. Not today. Although I was trying to play me, and then I was trying to do a return, because I got this concealer on sale for 50% off. And then Ulta was like, oh yeah, you're going to pay the remaining balance for your return. I was like, why am I going to pay when I'm going to get the exact same concealer, but in a different color? Because the shade range sucks. Riddle me that. I don't know if this concealer is going to crease on me, so I'm actually going to be really safe and set it. So I'm using the Juno & Co sponge with my RCMA No Color Powder. Brows, I want it to be full yet natural. So I'm just combing them out with a spoolie, and then I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. What I'm doing with my pomade is I'm just dragging hair-like strokes throughout my brow, very sparse, and I'm just going to comb it out with a spoolie. I just want this to kind of act as a base because majority of my brow today is going to be brow powder since that is what looks most natural on me and probably to most of you guys as well. I just feel like I always go overboard with brow pomade, so that's why I'm adding so little to my brows. I'm using my trusty old Sigma Brow Powder Duo, and then what I'm doing is I'm just doing the same hair-like strokes, starting at the tail of my brow, and then I'm gonna work my way in. I'm gonna take the concealer and run it on the bottom of my eyebrow, and then I'm gonna take my concealer brush, and I'm just going to sharpen up my eyebrows and kind of make them look a little bit more symmetrical. We're going to move on into eyes now. I'm going to take the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette and I'm just going to go in with this shade right here called Rowdy. I'm using my Morphe E13 brush and I'm just sweeping this color all on my eyelid all the way up to my brow bone because I want this to be a base for all the other shadows. I'm going to take this color called Bel Air, which is a 
pretty neutral nude and I'm gonna pop this into my inner and outer corner with my Marc Jacobs eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna try and blend out this color with the Shot Miss A Single Shadow in M5. I'm using my Morphe R39 to lightly apply this color. I want this color to be really, really diffused. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and deepen this up even more just because this is a halo eye and we want a lot of depth to this look. So I'm gonna use my Morphe Copper Spice Palette and I'm just gonna use the color in the second row right in the middle and I'm using my Real Techniques brush to just blend this into my inner and outer corner again. Then I'm going to blend this out with the Morphe R39 again with no additional product. I just want these colors to blend in together seamlessly. I'm using a lot of neutral colors today if you haven't noticed. And so I'm going to go back into the Copper Spice palette and go in with the color that's right in the center of the palette and pop this into my inner and outer corner to deepen it up even more. Now I'm going to do something that I haven't done with a lot of my Halo Eye tutorials. I'm going to use my concealer and I'm going to put it on a concealer brush and I'm going to kind of make... I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. I j just watch me. Just watch me. <laughs> so I'm going to use my concealer. I'm going to take it on a concealer brush. And I'm going to start um, a little higher than my crease. Probably right about here. And then I don't want to say I'm cutting my crease because I'm not. So I'm just going to drag the concealer down like this. And I'm basically applying this as a base for my center lid shade. We're going to go back into the Morphe palette. I'm going to use the center shade that's in the fourth row and I'm going to apply this onto my eyelid with my Sigma E55. So we are going to use the gold in the I Think I Love You palette and this one is in the shade Rule Breaker. Right in the center like that. Ooh, and then fade your way up. So I was experimenting with this eye while I was off camera because my camera actually died. So I wanted to show you guys what I did on this eye. I took my trusty old Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen and made a really nice thick wing. Since I'm working with eyeliners, I'm going to go ahead and tight line. I'm using my My Looking Glass Soft Textured Longwear Eyeliner in black. For my lower waterline, I'm using Brownie by Marc Jacobs. I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot on my upper lashes. Fake eyelashes today are Eyler Vegas Nay Bronze Beauty. And if you want to know how to apply eyeliner and lashes, I show you guys how to do it in depth in my last tutorial. I'll link it off in the bar up here. I added glitter just to enhance my eyes just to make them look a little bit bigger since I do have small eyes given I'm Asian. So I used the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy. I'm applying this right where my shimmery gold eyeshadow ends at the top and then I like to fade it down in like a ripple effect like this and so I'm just gonna go ahead and concentrate it more towards the top and then ombre it down. I'm using the middle shade in the Morphe palette and I'm just going to apply this in the inner and outer corner on my lower lash line. And then taking whatever is left on my eyeshadow brush, the brush that we had our golds on, I'm just going to apply this right in the center to give me that little pop. We need some warmth to the face, huh? So I'm going to use my Benefit Chicathon palette. I'm going to use the Color Hula in Dallas, and I'm using my Shot Mise F9. And with this brush, I'm just going to carve out kind of like my contour, and I'm going to blend everything out with a different brush. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Big Powder Brush that I usually use, and I'm only taking Hula this time. And I'm just rubbing this right on top just so it all blends together. I have my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Wisp and I'm just applying this with a brush. This is my Morphe E34 and this is a really glowy blush. So this is what's going to give me back a little bit more glow. For highlight today, I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Crimper. I'm using my Sigma F64. This is a concealer brush. Lips and are pretty simple. I'm using the My Looking Glass Soft Texture Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose. Then I'm filling them in with the Bite Beauty Inoki Mouge Bouge Lipstick. I'm feeling pretty glossy, so we're going to go ahead with my Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip in the shade Nonstop Glamour. Oh my god. I wore this gloss my junior year prom. Uh, memories. Shout out to all the guys who didn't want to take me. All 
Alright you guys, I was up with this tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoy. I also hope that you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.